every Saturday morning, I would walk by the rehearsal space and I would hear the wonderful sound of the youth orchestra playing. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. And like, I went to their concerts and I'm just like, I'm, I wanna get in, I wanna do it. I remember auditioning and it was just so nice. I was like so excited, I was so excited. I'm gonna do like clarinet forever, yeah. I just love making music with people my age who uh, love making music. The Philadelphia Youth Orchestra has grown from a one orchestra program with a small regional footprint. Founded in 1939, it was originally called the Germantown Youth Orchestra, to now a sixth program institution, uh, serving uh, more than 20 counties in three states. And an orchestra is, is a community. Every assignment is important. Every person is linked together in that community in order to do their best to the betterment of the community. So it's, it's not just about individual achievement, but it's about collective achievement. I'm very pleased and very proud of the amount of work we've done to serve the students uh, who have real passion in music. When I was younger, I was drawn from the high notes, and when I would listen to orchestras, you can hear a flute clear as day. When I was young, I described it as flying, and I always loved to fly. One, two, three, four. The various program divisions are Philadelphia Youth Orchestra, which is a program division which bears the same name as the institution's name. Uh, and that is for mostly senior high school and college age students. Uh, I consider them to be among the best students in the greater tri-state region, for which we have our greatest reach. Also, it is the most advanced of all of our musical programs. Many of the private teachers, uh, school-based teachers, uh, orchestra directors at high schools, etc., cetera, uh, refer their students to us uh, because it becomes a, a great supplemental uh, educational opportunity for those students to further their music learning along and their leadership skills along uh, so that they take those back to their respective schools and they continue to be the peer leaders uh, of their schools. The Philadelphia Youth Orchestra in its earlier years toured the world. Um, we started touring in 1981 with our first tour to Australia. We have traveled literally the globe. Our last tour was in 2007, which I took the orchestra down to Brazil. They have the opportunity to perform in the Kimmel Center for Performing Arts in Verizon Hall, the home of the Philadelphia Orchestra, one of the premier concert halls in the world. Maestro, I, I believe, brings this broad view to everything that he conducts. He always knows his history, he knows what was going on around the pieces. Um, he can give us lectures on why the pieces were important in their countries, their respective composers' countries. That's why I love working with Maestro. He is always conscious of everything that's going on. It's sort of like he conducts and runs the organization like he's playing chess, and he knows every little piece and what every piece is capable of. The next division is the Philadelphia Young Artist Orchestra, founded in 1995, mostly for high school students at the freshman, sophomore level and, and middle school age students. Uh, and that's an intermediate level uh, orchestra. That's directed by my colleague Rosalind Irwin, who is also uh, director of the orchestras at Drexel University. Working with young people is very energizing, and it requires that you really dig deep sometimes to express certain musical ideas and concepts. So it is enjoyable for me because it is a creative challenge and an intellectual challenge as well. It is my belief that the Philadelphia Youth Orchestra organization provides all of the young people that come through the various programs associated with this organization with a very necessary set of social skills that will hold them in good stead as they pursue whatever it is they wish to pursue throughout life. We have uh, our newest uh, large orchestra ensemble, the Philadelphia Young Musicians Orchestra. That is directed by Kenneth Bean. Three, one. 
and two, and three, and. We serve as kind of an introductory level orchestra, um, kind of like my first orchestra experience. My goal is to give them all the skills that they need to be successful um, and be able to matriculate through the PYO system. PYO is the premier youth orchestra organization in, in the region. Uh, so to offer these kids an opportunity to be a part of the highest level uh, youth orchestra in the area is really special. Being a part of that musical environment, it's, it's infectious. <laughs> The next program division is the Bravo Brass. Uh, that is a specialized group. It's for senior high school and college age students. A very advanced ensemble of 20 uh, students. Paul Bryan is the director of that and conductor of that program division. He is also the dean of students and faculty at the Curtis Institute of Music. It's a treat for me to wake up on a Monday morning and know that on Monday evening, I would have my opportunity to work with the students. Brass Ensemble Literature, the music that we play in the group, is very complex, very challenging, and it really pushes brass students to take that which they're doing in the practice room and use it in an ensemble. When I created Bravo Brass in 1997, one of the things that was really important to me was the connection between teaching and teachers and, of course, learning and students. Aaron, could you play your part one beat pickup to bar five? One, two, three. Paul Bryan was my private trombone teacher for quite a while. He invited me to audition for Bravo Brass, and that's where my career with PYO began. When it comes to precision, I haven't worked with a conductor or a person, human being, that is so precise, so on time, so punctual. Everything he does is exact and clear. Our next program division is the PRISM, Philadelphia Region Youth String Music Program, PRISM for short. We established that program in 2006 under the direction of uh, the former co-concert master of the Philadelphia Orchestra, William De Pasquale, who is, uh, subsequently ha is no longer with us, but uh, also co-founded with his wife, Gloria De Pasquale, who is uh, at the helm today, and she is a longtime veteran of the Philadelphia Orchestra. Twice a year, we hold auditions for PRISM, our Intermediate and Advanced String Orchestra, and for the PRISM Young Artist Orchestra, which is our entry level, where one does not have to have really developed skills. We have wonderful relationships with members of the Philadelphia Orchestra, 10 of whom currently on the Philadelphia Orchestra's roster are alumni of Philadelphia Youth Orchestra, so we're very proud of that. I bring members of the Philadelphia Orchestra in to our rehearsal setting and they do a lot of coaching and a lot of uh, mentoring of our students. Then we have a very special program called Tune Up Philly. Can we sing it together? One, two, ready, sing. Tune Up Philly is a program that is modeled after the El Sistema uh, Music for Social Change programming uh, that was started in Venezuela. Tune Up Philly is a boots on the ground, intensive and inclusive program that um, challenges students uh, regardless of their background or their age level. It has a neighborhood centric approach which has an orchestra comprised of 10 neighborhoods that come together um, that foster a positive learning environment and model um, just how successful students can be with their arts and, and what they're capable of at a very young age. Performing, of course, is the realization of all of the work that goes through the rehearsal process. The whole family of PYO Ensembles plays in the Kimmel Center uh, at the end of March this year. So there's a lot of performances, a lot of opportunities for students to prepare and rehearse for that final performance. I really love being a part of that because I like being a piece of a puzzle and hearing how all the little parts fit together. I love feeling like a part of a huge sea of sound. We really underline citizenship. As I often say, Philadelphia Youth Orchestra trains tomorrow's leaders and they are certainly all themselves budding and aspiring leaders of tomorrow. <laughs>